I love Elijah because he's a dude. You know what he eats? Whatever he kills. You know what he wears? Whatever he kills. You know what he has for a weapon? He doesn't have a weapon. He is the weapon. That's Elijah. Okay? He's, he's, he's awesome. Um, let, me, let me say one thing and then ask something. Uh, number one, the problem is with the family of Ahaziah, they are loyal to their family, not their Lord. This is, this is where it goes astray, friends. You should love your family, but be loyal to your God. If your loyalty is to your family, and they were loyal to their family for six generations, and God killed six generations of their family. Because if you're loyal to your family, if your family isn't loyal to God, you will be just like that family. It, they got power, they got money, they got fame, they got a kingdom, but they didn't know the Lord. And what happens as well, the people in that nation, they tolerate certain things in their own life, their own marriage, their own home, their own church, their own school. My question to you is, what needs to go? Who needs to go? Some of you are believers and you're dating unbelievers. You're doing the same thing that got the nation split in half in the days of Solomon. Some of you have kept mementos from previous romantic relationships or former boyfriends or girlfriends and you're married, but you're, you're sort of holding on to something that's like a soul tie or a connection that needs to get burned. Some of you have spiritual things in your home, icons, dream catchers, Buddhistic statues, various religions, yins and yangs and all of that. Just go home and burn it. You shouldn't have anything in your home that isn't devoted fully and entirely to the Lord. Are there books that you're reading that you should not be reading? Are there things that you are doing that you should not be doing? A little compromise over the course of many generations leads to complete apostasy and collapse. And that's the story of Israel. Well, if you're a little discouraged, it's going to get worse. Um, <laughs> And some of you are very, some of you are very optimistic. You're like, God loves everybody. Everybody's going to be fine. God's going to work it all out. <laughs> all right. First, <laughs> we'll just jump in. Second Kings chapter one, verse nine. Not everyone gets saved. Then the king sent to him a captain of 50 men with his 50. This is a military regiment. This is like Navy SEALs, right? These are the, these are the elite forces. They send 50 dudes to deal with <laughs> one guy. I love that. How many pastors would it take 50 guys to take down? Just Elijah. I, when I get to heaven, I knuckles. Love this guy, okay? They sent 50 armed soldiers to take care of one pastor. Love that guy. He went up to Elijah who was sitting on top of the hill. We don't know how Elijah got there. He's, he's like a rock climber, mountain man. The 50 dudes are at the, you gotta see this is funny. The 50 dudes are at the bottom, they're like, King says, come down. He's like, why don't you come up? And they're like, we can't. I love that. I love that the prophet is tougher than the Navy SEALs. I love that. 